Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of graphing exponential functions. This is standard 8.9D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 which is a new item type called drag and drop of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have drag and drop here, so we need to use uh, two different answers. And you notice if we just try to use one, it's going to give us this error message saying you have not used or answered everything. So it's a two-point question. So let's see exactly what it is that we are being asked to look at here. We have an equation and we need to find the equation of the asymptote of this graph. Okay, Now we need to know what that is coming into the test because that's not going to show up on your reference materials. All right, So what is the asymptote? Okay, The asymptote is a straight line on a graph. Usually it's an imaginary straight line that a curve approaches infinitely. Now, that is something that we are going to see when we deal with the exponential graphs. The graph of an exponential function is typically going to give us an asymptote. So let's see if we have a graph like this, right? Sometimes we'll get something that looks like this, right? A graph that looks like this. It kind of comes down. It's kind of hard to draw. But what we might say is that as this line kind of extends out like this, it's going to get closer and closer and closer to something, right? So in this case, I'm making it that x-axis, right? It's going to get closer and closer and closer to this x-axis, but it never actually touches it. It just infinitely gets closer. So that black line would be the asymptote because that's the line that the curve, right, this particular uh, drawing right here of our exponential function that has that curve that infinitely gets closer. We know it's an exponential function here because it's in that form y equals a times b to the x. And when your x or your independent variable is in that exponent uh, location right there that is going to usually produce something that looks like this with an asymptote. So how do we figure out the equation for this one? We've got a we've got a 16, right? So I get where the 16 is. I get that 0 0.75 comes there. Not sure where this comes from. Not sure where this comes from. My x or my y. I'm assuming one of these is going to uh, be in that first location because like this one right here okay you see this black line that I had right here the equation for this one is y equals zero in that particular example because when you have a straight line you if it's horizontal you're just going to say y equals something if it happens to be a vertical line like this you would just say x equals and then whatever that x coordinate is so let's just use a calculator let's just graph it and visually see what it looks like. So I'll use that Desmos graphing calculator. And let's just enter in this function, right? So I'm going to say y equals. And let's grab that 16. And then we've got the 0 0.75. We're going to need to get that exponent function right there. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's Let's play with this. Okay, so here's this infinite. You see how this line is infinitely, it looks like it's touching, and that is my uh, my x-axis, right? It looks like it's touching, but look, look. It's, no matter how much you zoom in, it's always going to be approaching but never getting exactly there. So it is going to be that y equals 0, because that y equals 0 is going to show right? That x axis. And so that is our answer. Y equals zero.